Today, we're continuing our exploration of the groundbreaking study on radiation grafted membranes, focusing on their diverse applications in the removal of heavy metals and other contaminants. They reported the successful removal of mercury using PEG polyacrylamide membranes, achieving an impressive 99% separation efficiency from a solution containing 200 ppm of mercury. Moving forward, the research explores the use of radiation-grafted chelating membranes, such as PEG poly, acrylic acid, for the recovery of uranium from simulated waste solutions. These membranes have shown high selectivity towards zirconium, a critical contaminant in uranium recovery processes. The study also highlights the potential of amidoxime-containing fibrous hydrogels, prepared through radiation-induced graft copolymerization of acrylonitrile onto polypropylene fibers. These materials have demonstrated significant promise in recovering uranium and vanadium from seawater, with adsorption capacities reaching 576 and 1,800 mg per gram of fiber respectively. Welcome dear followers to the 4Science Sala Lotfi channel. In this episode we will discuss a landmark research paper that has had a significant impact on the field of polymer chemistry. This paper has been cited in over 790 scientific studies to date reflecting its substantial importance in the field. The paper we are discussing is titled Preparation and Applications of Ion Exchange Membranes by Radiation-Induced Graft Copolymerization of Polar Monomers onto Nonpolar Films. It was published in the journal in June 2004, Volume 29, Issue 6, on pages 499 to 561 by the renowned publisher El Sevier. The first author of this paper is Professor Dr. El Sayed Ahmed Hagazi, a professor in the Polymer Chemistry Department and the former president of the National Center for Radiation Research and Technology, NCRRT, Egyptian Atomic Energy Authority, Cairo, Egypt. The second author is Professor Dr. Mohamed Nasef, a professor at the Malaysia-Japan International Institute of Technology, MJIT, head of the Advanced Materials Research Group, and deputy director of the Center of Hydrogen Energy, CHE, at University Technology Malaysia. This paper is considered a foundational reference in the field of ion exchange membranes and radiation-induced graft polymerization. It has been cited in hundreds of scientific papers, underscoring its vital role in advancing scientific progress in this area. We extend our sincere thanks to Professor Dr. El Sayed Ahmed Hegazi and Professor Dr. Mohamed Nasef for their significant scientific contributions that have enriched the field of polymer chemistry. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the latest in the world of science. See you in a new episode of For Science Sala Latfi channel. Hello and welcome back to the For Science Sala Latfi channel. Before we dive into today's episode I wanted to give you all a quick heads up. Today's topic is quite dense as we'll be covering a comprehensive research paper that spans 63 pages. The title is Preparation and Applications of Ion Exchange Membranes by Radiation-Induced Graft Copolymerization of Polar Monomers onto Nonpolar Films Now I know this might seem like a lot to digest in one go, but it's essential to present this research as a complete picture to do justice to the depth and breadth of the study. So grab a cup of coffee, settle in, and let's explore this fascinating field together. Hi everyone! And welcome to a fascinating journey into the world of really, really small things that make a big difference. Today we're diving into the exciting research of Dr. El Sayed Ahmed Hegazi and Dr. Mohamed Nasef. These brilliant scientists are working with special materials called ion exchange membranes. You might be wondering what in the world are those? Well, imagine a filter that's so tiny it can separate things at the level of atoms. That's what these membranes do and they're super important for all sorts of things, like cleaning water, making energy, and even in some medical treatments. Dr. Hagazi and Dr. Nasef have found a really cool way to make these membranes even better using something called radiation-induced graft copolymerization. Don't worry, we'll explain what that means in a bit. It's like giving these membranes superpowers, making them even more efficient and useful. So. Buckle up and get ready to explore the amazing world of ion exchange membranes and the incredible science behind them. Let's start by taking a peek at the heart of Dr. Hegazi and Dr. Nasef's research. Their work focuses on a groundbreaking technique called radiation-induced graft copolymerization. 
Now, that might sound like a mouthful, but it's actually a really clever way to improve how we make ion exchange membranes. Think of it like this. Imagine you have a chain of beads, and you want to attach special Lego blocks to it. That's kind of what graft copolymerization does. It takes a base material like a long chain of molecules and then attaches new branches of molecules to it, kind of like adding those Lego blocks. But here's where it gets really cool. Dr. Hagazi and Dr. Nasef use radiation to make this process happen. It's like using a tiny invisible beam to snap those Lego blocks onto the chain. This allows them to create membranes with specific properties, like being able to filter out certain types of ions better than ever before. Their work is a big deal because it opens up a whole new world of possibilities for ion exchange membranes. Now let's dive a little deeper into this whole graft copolymerization thing. Remember those Lego blocks in the chain? That's actually a pretty good analogy for how this process works. In the world of chemistry, polymers are like long chains made up of repeating units, kind of like those beads we talked about. Graft copolymerization is all about attaching new branches of molecules, our Lego blocks, onto this main chain. This isn't just sticking things together randomly, though. It's more like carefully choosing which Lego blocks to add and where to put them to create something new and amazing. By selecting specific molecules to graft onto the main chain, scientists can give the resulting material entirely new properties and functions. This is what makes graft copolymerization so powerful. It allows us to customize materials at a molecular level, creating things that are stronger, more flexible, or in the case of Dr. Hegazy and Dr. Nasef's work, better at filtering ions. You might be wondering, what role does radiation play in all of this? Well, it turns out that radiation, specifically high-energy radiation like gamma rays or electron beams, is the key to unlocking the potential of graft copolymerization. Think of it like this. When these high-energy rays hit a polymer, they can actually break some of the chemical bonds holding the chain together. This creates reactive sites, kind of like open spots on the chain where new molecules can attach. Now, when we introduce specific molecules called monomers into this environment, they can latch onto those reactive sites created by the radiation. This is how those Lego blocks get attached to the main chain, forming the graft copolymers. This process, using radiation to initiate and control the grafting process, is what makes this technique so precise and effective. It's like having a tiny, invisible tool that allows scientists to modify materials with incredible accuracy. Section 5. Two ways to graft. Like baking a cake. Different methods for different results. Just like there are different ways to bake a cake, there are different methods for carrying out radiation-induced graft copolymerization. Dr. Hegazy and Dr. Nasef have explored two main approaches, simultaneous and pre-irradiation grafting. In simultaneous grafting, it's like baking a cake with all the ingredients mixed in at once. The polymer, the monomers, and the radiation are all present at the same time. This method is quick and efficient, but it can sometimes lead to less control over where exactly those Lego blocks end up on the chain. Pre-irradiation grafting, on the other hand, is more like preparing the cake batter and frosting separately before assembling the final masterpiece. Here, the polymer is first irradiated to create those reactive sites. Then, the monomers are introduced, allowing for more precise control over the grafting process. This method often results in a more uniform and controlled distribution of those Lego blocks on the polymer chain. Each method has its advantages and disadvantages, and the choice depends on the specific properties and applications desired for the final material. It's up to the scientists to decide which recipe will work best. Section 6. Crafting Custom Membranes – Building Membranes with Special Abilities now that we understand how graft copolymerization and radiation come together, let's talk about those amazing ion exchange membranes. These membranes are like tiny filters with incredible selectivity, able to separate specific ions from a solution. Think of it like this. Imagine you have a glass of salt water and you want to remove only the salt, leaving behind pure water. Ion exchange membranes can do just that. They work by using special chemical groups called ion exchange groups, which are attached to the membrane's surface. These ion exchange groups act like tiny magnets, attracting and holding on to specific types of ions while letting others pass through. By carefully selecting the type and amount of ion exchange groups, scientists can create membranes tailored for specific applications. This is where Dr. Hegazy and Dr. Nasef's work comes in. By using radiation-induced graft copolymerization, 
they can precisely control the type and distribution of ion exchange groups on the membrane surface, leading to even more efficient and selective separation processes. Section 7, Evenly Spread is key why uniform grafting matters. You might be wondering why is it so important for those Lego blocks or ion exchange groups to be evenly distributed on the membrane surface. Well, it all comes down to efficiency and performance. Imagine a group of people trying to exit a crowded room through a single narrow door. It would be slow and chaotic, right? But if there were multiple evenly spaced exits, everyone could leave much faster and more efficiently. The same principle applies to ion exchange membranes. When the ion exchange groups are evenly distributed, it creates more available sites for ions to interact with. This leads to faster and more efficient separation processes, as ions don't have to travel as far to find an available binding site. Dr. Hegazy and Dr. Nasef's research focuses on achieving this uniform grafting distribution, ensuring that their membranes are as efficient and effective as possible. It's like optimizing the flow of people through those doors, making the entire process smoother and faster. Section 8. Membranes on a Mission, from Cleaning Water to Powering Batteries. Now, let's explore some of the amazing applications of these super-powered ion exchange membranes. Their ability to selectively separate ions makes them incredibly valuable in a wide range of industries. One of the most important applications is in water purification. Ion exchange membranes can remove harmful contaminants like salts, heavy metals, and even bacteria from water, making it safe for drinking or industrial use. This is especially important in areas with limited access to clean water resources. But that's not all. These membranes also play a crucial role in energy storage technologies like fuel cells and batteries. They can help to control the flow of ions between electrodes, which is essential for generating and storing electricity. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Ion exchange membranes are also used in various other applications, including desalination, turning seawater into fresh water by removing salt, food processing, separating and concentrating valuable components from food products, pharmaceutical production, purifying and separating drugs and other pharmaceutical compounds. As you can see, these tiny membranes are making a big impact in a wide range of fields. Section 9, A Brighter Future, How This Research Is Making a Difference The research of Dr. El Sayed Ahmed Hagazi and Dr. Mohamed Nasef is paving the way for a brighter and more sustainable future. Their work on radiation-induced graft copolymerization is pushing the boundaries of what's possible with ion exchange membranes, making them even more efficient, versatile, and cost-effective. By improving these membranes, their research has the potential to increase access to clean water, making water purification technologies more efficient and affordable, especially in developing countries, boost renewable energy, enhancing the performance and longevity of fuel cells and batteries, accelerating the transition to a clean energy economy, Reduce industrial waste, enabling more sustainable manufacturing processes by minimizing waste and maximizing resource utilization. The impact of their work extends far beyond the laboratory, touching the lives of people around the world. By developing innovative solutions to global challenges, Dr. Hagazi and Dr. Nasef are truly making a difference. Hey there, science fans! Have you ever thought about how we clean water or generate energy? It might surprise you to learn that incredibly thin materials called membranes play a big role. These aren't the kind of membranes you find in living cells, though. These are synthetic polymeric membranes, and they're changing the way we approach some of our biggest challenges. To make these membranes even more effective, scientists have developed a clever technique radiation-induced graft copolymerization. It sounds complicated, but stick with me. It's like giving these membranes superpowers, allowing them to do even more amazing things. So, what exactly are synthetic polymeric membranes? Imagine a very thin sheet of material with tiny holes or pores. These pores are so small, you'd need a microscope to see them. These membranes are made of polymers, which are large molecules made up of repeating units. Think of a long chain where each link is a small molecule. These chains can be arranged in different ways, giving the membrane unique properties. The magic happens because these membranes can act as selective barriers. They allow certain substances to pass through while blocking others. This selective permeability is what makes them so useful in a wide range of applications. 
Synthetic polymeric membranes are like tiny superheroes working behind the scenes in countless industries. These advanced materials are engineered to perform specific tasks with incredible precision and efficiency. One of their most important jobs is cleaning water. In water treatment facilities, these membranes act as barriers, filtering out contaminants and ensuring that the water we drink is safe and clean. These membranes can filter out impurities, salts, and even bacteria, providing us with safe drinking water. They are designed to allow only water molecules to pass through while blocking harmful substances, making them essential in maintaining public health. They're also used in desalination plants to remove salt from seawater, creating a new source of fresh water for people living in arid regions. This process is vital for communities where freshwater resources are scarce, transforming seawater into a life-sustaining resource. But that's not all. These membranes are also used in food processing, concentrating juice, purifying milk, and clarifying wine. By selectively separating components, they enhance the quality and shelf life of food products, ensuring that what we consume is both delicious and safe. In pharmaceuticals separating and purifying drugs, these membranes play a crucial role in the production of medications, ensuring that drugs are free from impurities and meet stringent quality standards. And in energy production, generating electricity and fuel cells, these membranes are key components in fuel cells, which convert chemical energy into electrical energy, providing a clean and efficient power source, and creating clean energy from renewable sources. By facilitating the separation and conversion processes, these membranes help harness energy from renewable sources like wind, solar, and biomass, contributing to a sustainable future. As you can see, these tiny membranes are having a big impact on our world. From providing clean water and safe food to advancing medical treatments and supporting renewable energy, synthetic polymeric membranes are indispensable in modern society. Their versatility and efficiency make them true unsung heroes in our quest for a better, healthier, and more sustainable world. Creating these high-performance membranes requires some clever chemistry. One powerful technique is called radiation-induced graft copolymerization. Don't worry, we'll break it down. Imagine you have a base membrane. It's good, but we want to make it even better. Graft copolymerization allows us to attach new chains of polymers onto this base membrane. It's like adding branches to a tree trunk, creating a more complex and functional structure. These grafted chains can be carefully chosen to give the membrane specific properties like improved selectivity, permeability, or resistance to fouling. Radiation-induced graft copolymerization a closer look. This fascinating process is revolutionizing the way we create advanced materials. Now let's zoom in on the radiation part. Radiation plays a crucial role in this process, acting as the initiator that sets everything into motion. Radiation, like gamma rays or electron beams, can be used to initiate the grafting process. These high energy rays penetrate the base material, creating the perfect conditions for grafting. Think of radiation as a tiny burst of energy. This energy is powerful enough to break chemical bonds and create reactive sites on the base membrane. When this energy hits the base membrane, it creates reactive sites. These sites are essentially the starting points for the new polymer chains to attach and grow. These sites act like sticky points where the new polymer chains can attach and grow. Imagine these points as tiny hooks that catch and hold on to the new polymer chains. This process happens in three main steps. Each step is crucial for the successful creation of the grafted copolymer membrane. 1. Initiation Radiation creates those reactive sites on the base membrane. This is the first and most critical step, as it sets the stage for the entire grafting process. 2. Propagation The new polymer chains start to grow from the reactive sites. During this phase, the chains extend and form a strong bond with the base membrane. 3. Termination The growth of the chains eventually stops, resulting in the grafted copolymer membrane. This final step ensures that the new material has the desired properties and stability. By controlling the type of radiation and the reaction conditions, scientists can fine-tune the properties of the final membrane. This level of control allows for the creation of materials with specific characteristics tailored to various applications. The ability to manipulate these variables means that we can design membranes for a wide range of uses, from medical devices to industrial filters. The potential applications are vast and continually expanding. As research progresses, the techniques and technologies involved in radiation-induced graft copolymerization will continue to evolve, 
opening up new possibilities and innovations in material science. This closer look at the process highlights the intricate and precise nature of creating advanced materials. It's a testament to the ingenuity and dedication of scientists working in this field. The future of material science is bright, with radiation-induced graft copolymerization leading the way towards new and exciting advancements. Radiations roll gamma rays, electron beams, and more. Different types of radiation can be used for graft copolymerization, each with its own advantages. Gamma rays, which are highly penetrating, can modify the entire thickness of the membrane. This is especially useful for thicker membranes. Electron beams, on the other hand, have a shallower penetration depth, making them suitable for modifying the surface properties of the membrane. The choice of radiation depends on the desired membrane properties and the specific application. For example, if you need a membrane with high chemical resistance, you might choose a specific type of radiation that creates strong crosslinks between the polymer chains. Molecular Makeover How Radiation Transforms Polymers Polymers, the backbone of countless materials we use daily, undergo fascinating transformations when exposed to radiation. Radiation doesn't just initiate the grafting process, it can also directly affect the polymer molecules in the membrane. This interaction can lead to significant changes in the material's properties, making it more versatile for various applications. Remember those long chains of repeating units. These chains are the fundamental building blocks of polymers, giving them their unique characteristics. Radiation can break some of these chains, creating shorter segments. This process, known as chain scission, alters the polymer's structure at a molecular level. Chain scission can make the membrane more flexible. This increased flexibility can be beneficial in applications where the material needs to bend or stretch without breaking. On the other hand, radiation can also cause cross-linking. This is a process where the polymer chains become interconnected, forming a more complex network. This is where two polymer chains become linked together, like two pieces of string tied with a knot. Cross-linking enhances the material's structural integrity. Cross-linking makes the membrane stronger and more resistant to heat and chemicals. This increased durability is crucial for materials used in harsh environments. By carefully controlling the radiation dose and conditions, scientists can create membranes with a tailored balance of flexibility and strength. This precise control allows for the customization of polymer properties to meet specific needs, making them suitable for a wide range of industrial and medical applications. The ability to fine-tune these properties opens up new possibilities in material science, leading to innovations that can improve our daily lives. A Bright Future Membranes and Beyond Radiation-induced graft copolymerization is a powerful tool for creating high-performance membranes with a wide range of applications. From providing clean water to developing new energy technologies, these membranes are playing an increasingly important role in solving global challenges. But the potential of this technology extends far beyond membranes. It can be used to modify other types of materials, such as textiles, packaging materials, and even biomedical devices. Imagine self-cleaning fabrics, biodegradable plastics, and advanced drug delivery systems, all made possible by the power of radiation-induced graft copolymerization. Keep exploring. The world of membranes awaits. This is just a glimpse into the fascinating world of synthetic polymeric membranes and radiation-induced graft copolymerization. There's so much more to learn and discover. If you're interested in science, chemistry, or engineering, I encourage you to delve deeper into this exciting field. Who knows, maybe you'll be the one to develop the next generation of membrane technology and change the world. Keep asking questions, keep experimenting, and never stop exploring the wonders of science. Hey there, science fans. Welcome back to another exciting episode where we explore the wonders of modern science. Today, we're diving into the amazing world of graft copolymers, a fascinating topic that has revolutionized material science. These incredible materials have been changing the game since the 1950s, and they're only getting more important. From their humble beginnings, graft copolymers have evolved to become essential in various industries. But what are they, you ask? Well, let's break it down. Imagine two different chains of molecules, like two different strings of beads. Each string represents a different type of polymer with its own unique properties. Now imagine attaching one string as a side chain to the other. 
This creates a new structure where the side chain branches off from the main chain. That's what a graft copolymer is. It's a hybrid material that combines the characteristics of both parent polymers. It combines the best properties of both materials, resulting in a product that can be stronger, more flexible, or more resistant to chemicals. This process of creating graft copolymers is called graft copolymerization. It's a sophisticated technique that allows scientists to design materials with specific desirable traits. It's like molecular Lego, building new materials with unique properties. Pretty cool, right? Imagine the possibilities. From medical devices to high-performance sports equipment, graft copolymers are making a significant impact. Researchers are constantly discovering new applications and improving the synthesis methods to make these materials even more versatile and efficient. So next time you use a product that boasts enhanced durability or flexibility, there's a good chance graft copolymers are behind it. They truly are a powerful innovation in the world of material science. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the world of graft copolymers. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of science. Now let's talk about radiation-induced graft copolymerization. This fascinating technique is a game-changer in the world of polymer science. It uses high-energy radiation, such as gamma rays or electron beams, to initiate the process of attaching side chains to a main polymer backbone. Imagine it as a high-tech way of customizing polymers to have specific properties. It's like giving our molecular Lego a little zap of energy to snap those pieces together. The radiation acts as a catalyst, creating reactive sites on the main polymer chain. These reactive sites are like open spots or hooks where the side chains can attach. Think of it as creating a series of docking stations along the polymer backbone. Once these sites are created, the side chains, which are smaller polymer segments, can bond to these reactive spots. This bonding process forms what we call a graft copolymer. This method is incredibly effective and allows scientists to precisely control the grafting process. By adjusting the type and amount of radiation as well as the conditions under which the process occurs, researchers can fine-tune the properties of the resulting copolymer. It's like having a molecular sewing machine. This technique opens up a world of possibilities, enabling the creation of materials with tailored properties for specific applications. For instance, graft copolymers can be designed to have improved mechanical strength, enhanced chemical resistance, or even unique electrical properties. This makes them incredibly valuable in industries ranging from healthcare to electronics. In summary, radiation-induced graft copolymerization is a powerful tool in the field of polymer science. It allows for the precise modification of polymer structures, leading to the development of advanced materials with a wide range of applications. It's a perfect example of how cutting-edge technology can be used to push the boundaries of material science and create innovative solutions for the future. So, why use radiation for graft copolymerization? Well, for starters, it's very efficient. Radiation can penetrate deep into materials, even thick ones, ensuring that grafting happens throughout the material, not just on the surface. It's also environmentally friendly. Radiation-induced graft copolymerization doesn't require harsh chemicals or high temperatures that other methods might need. This means fewer harmful byproducts and a smaller environmental footprint. Plus, it's a cost-effective method, which is always a bonus. Now let's explore the two main methods of radiation-induced graft copolymerization, simultaneous irradiation and pre-irradiation. Simultaneous irradiation is like a one-pot recipe. The main polymer and the monomer, the building blocks for the side chains, are mixed together, then exposed to radiation all at once. The radiation activates both, creating those reactive sites and attaching the side chains in one go. This method is quick, simple, and efficient making it popular for industrial applications. It's like baking a cake. Mix the ingredients, put it in the oven, and voila! However, like any good recipe, there can be some challenges. In the world of science, especially in the field of simultaneous irradiation, these challenges can be quite complex and multifaceted. Simultaneous irradiation can sometimes lead to uneven grafting. This is a significant issue because the success of many experiments and applications depends on the uniformity of the grafting process. Imagine some parts of the cake being more cooked than others, just like in baking, where an unevenly baked cake can ruin the entire dessert. Uneven grafting can compromise the integrity of the materials being studied. This can happen if the radiation dose isn't distributed evenly 
or if the mixture isn't properly stirred. Ensuring that the radiation is evenly distributed and the mixture is well stirred is crucial for achieving consistent results. Another challenge is something called homopolymerization. This occurs when the monomer molecules, which are supposed to attach to the main polymer chain, instead link up with each other. This is when the monomer molecules decide to link up with each other instead of attaching to the main polymer chain. This can lead to the formation of unwanted byproducts and can significantly affect the properties of the final material. It's like the cake batter clumping up instead of baking evenly. Just as clumped batter can result in a lumpy cake, homopolymerization can result in materials that do not have the desired characteristics. Scientists are constantly working on ways to overcome these challenges and improve the precision of simultaneous irradiation. They are developing new techniques and refining existing methods to ensure that the irradiation process is as effective and efficient as possible. This involves a lot of trial and error, as well as a deep understanding of the underlying principles of chemistry and physics. By addressing these challenges head-on, researchers are paving the way for new advancements and applications in various fields, from materials, science, to medicine. The journey is ongoing, but with each step, we get closer to mastering the art of simultaneous irradiation. Now let's move on to the second method, pre-irradiation. This one is a two-step process. First, the main polymer is irradiated by itself, creating those reactive sites. Think of it like preheating the oven and preparing the cake pan. Then, the monomer is added and it attaches to those pre-made reactive sites. This method offers greater control over the grafting process, like carefully pouring the batter into the prepared pan. However, pre-irradiation also has its challenges. One of the main ones is that those reactive sites created in the first step are like impatient bakers. They don't like to wait around. They can disappear over time or react with other molecules in the environment. This means that the second step, adding the monomer, needs to happen within a specific time frame. Scientists are constantly working on ways to extend the lifespan of these reactive sites or find ways to preserve them until the monomer is added. So which method is better simultaneous irradiation or pre-irradiation? Well, it's not a competition. The best method depends on the specific application and the desired properties of the final graft copolymer. Simultaneous irradiation is often preferred for large-scale industrial processes because of its simplicity and cost-effectiveness. Pre-irradiation, with its greater control over the grafting process, is often favored for applications that require precise tailoring of material properties, like in biomedical engineering. Speaking of applications, Radiation-induced graft copolymerization is used in a wide range of industries. One exciting example is in water purification. Graft copolymers are used to create ion exchange membranes that can remove harmful contaminants from water, making it safe to drink. It's like having a molecular sieve that filters out the bad stuff. In healthcare, graft copolymers are being explored for drug delivery systems. These systems can release medications slowly over time, targeting specific areas of the body and reducing side effects. It's like having a tiny pharmacist inside your body, delivering medicine exactly where it's needed. The future of radiation-induced graft copolymerization is incredibly exciting. Scientists are constantly discovering new applications for these versatile materials. From developing advanced materials for aerospace and electronics to creating sustainable and biodegradable plastics, Graft copolymers are leading the way in materials science. So there you have it, an overview of radiation-induced graft copolymerization. It's a fascinating field with endless possibilities. I encourage you to keep exploring and learning about this amazing technology. Who knows what incredible applications we'll discover next. Keep those science brains buzzing. Membranes, thin barriers that regulate the passage of substances, have revolutionized various industries, from water purification to pharmaceutical manufacturing. These versatile materials have become indispensable in modern technology. Over the years, membrane technology has advanced significantly, driven by the demand for more efficient, selective, and sustainable separation processes. Innovations in this field 
have led to remarkable improvements in performance and application. This essay delves into the fascinating world of functionalized membranes, exploring their origins, types, and diverse applications. We will uncover how these membranes have evolved and the impact they have had on various sectors. From affinity membranes designed for targeted separations to smart hydrogel membranes that respond to environmental stimuli, the field of membrane science continues to push the boundaries of material science and engineering. These advancements are paving the way for future innovations. Initially, membranes were simple, porous structures with limited selectivity. They served basic functions, but lacked the sophistication needed for more complex applications. As our understanding of polymer chemistry and membrane fabrication techniques grew, so did the complexity and functionality of these materials. Researchers have developed new methods to enhance membrane properties. Today, we have a wide array of membranes tailored to specific applications, each designed to address unique separation challenges. These specialized membranes are crucial in achieving high efficiency and selectivity. This evolution has been fueled by the development of novel materials, fabrication methods, and surface modification techniques. These innovations have expanded the potential uses of membranes. One such advancement that has significantly impacted membrane technology is the development of hydrophilic ion track graft membranes. These membranes offer unique advantages in various applications. These membranes, with their unique combination of properties, have paved the way for the creation of highly selective and efficient separation systems. They are a testament to the progress in membrane technology, the ability to precisely control the structure and chemistry of membranes has opened up a world of possibilities for tailoring their performance to meet specific separation needs. This precision is key to their success. This has led to the development of functionalized membranes with enhanced selectivity, permeability and stability, revolutionizing various industrial processes. The future of membrane technology looks promising as research continues to advance. Hydrophilic ion track graft membranes represent a significant advancement in membrane technology. These membranes are created by bombarding a base membrane, typically made of a polymer like polyethylene terephthalate or polypropylene, with high energy ions. This bombardment creates tracks or channels within the membrane structure. These tracks are then chemically modified to introduce hydrophilic functional groups, making the membrane more permeable to water and other polar solvents. The process of grafting hydrophilic polymers onto these tracks enhances the membrane's selectivity and permeability, making it suitable for a wide range of applications. The unique properties of hydrophilic ion track graft membranes stem from their well-defined pore structure, narrow pore size distribution, and the presence of hydrophilic groups on the pore walls. These characteristics make them highly effective in applications such as water purification, gas separation, and drug delivery. Affinity membranes take selectivity to a whole new level. These membranes are designed to bind specifically to target molecules, much like a lock and key. This selective binding allows for the efficient separation and purification of specific compounds from complex mixtures. Affinity membranes achieve their remarkable selectivity through the incorporation of ligands molecules with a high affinity for the target molecule. The process of creating affinity membranes typically involves several steps. First, a suitable base membrane is selected, often a porous polymer membrane with good mechanical strength and chemical resistance. Next, the chosen ligand is immobilized onto the membrane surface or within its pores. This immobilization can be achieved through various methods, including covalent bonding, physical adsorption, or entrapment. The choice of ligand depends on the target molecule and the specific application. 
For instance, antibodies, enzymes or synthetic molecules with specific binding properties can be used as ligands. This versatility makes affinity membranes powerful tools for a wide range of applications, including protein purification, pharmaceutical separations and environmental remediation. Section 4. Radiation-Induced Graft Copolymerization, a versatile tool for membrane modification. Radiation-induced graft copolymerization, or RIDGC, has emerged as a versatile and powerful technique for modifying the surface properties of membranes, making it a cornerstone in modern membrane science. This method involves exposing a base membrane to ionizing radiation, such as gamma rays or electron beams, in the presence of a monomer, which is a small molecule that can join with others to form a polymer. The radiation creates free radicals on the membrane surface, initiating the polymerization of the monomer and leading to the growth of polymer chains from the membrane surface, effectively altering its properties. RIGC offers several advantages over conventional membrane modification techniques, making it a preferred choice in many research and industrial applications. First, it allows for the grafting of a wide range of monomers onto various membrane materials, providing great flexibility in tailoring membrane properties to meet specific needs. Second, the grafting process is typically carried out under mild conditions, minimizing the risk of membrane degradation and preserving the integrity of the base material. Finally, RIDC enables precise control over the grafting parameters, such as radiation dose and monomer concentration, allowing for fine-tuning of the membrane's characteristics to achieve desired performance. The versatility of RICC has led to its widespread adoption in membrane science, influencing a broad range of applications and innovations. It is used to modify membranes for various applications, including water treatment, gas separation, and biomedical devices, each benefiting from the enhanced properties imparted by RIGC. For instance, RIGC can be used to introduce hydrophilic groups onto hydrophobic membranes, improving their wettability and fouling resistance, which is crucial for many filtration processes. Additionally, it can be employed to graft functional groups that impart specific properties, such as antimicrobial activity or biocompatibility, making the membrane suitable for specialized applications. Section 5. Hydrogel Membranes – Smart Materials for Dynamic Applications Hydrogel membranes, composed of cross-linked polymer networks that can absorb and retain large amounts of water, represent another exciting class of functionalized membranes. These materials exhibit unique properties, including high water content, biocompatibility, and tunable mechanical properties, making them attractive for various applications, particularly in biomedical and environmental fields. One of the most intriguing features of hydrogel membranes is their stimuli-responsive behavior. These smart materials can undergo significant changes in their physical or chemical properties in response to external stimuli, such as temperature, pH, light, or the presence of specific molecules. This responsiveness makes them ideal candidates for applications like controlled drug delivery, biosensing, and water treatment. For example, temperature-responsive hydrogel membranes can be designed to release drugs at a specific temperature, ensuring targeted delivery and minimizing side effects. Similarly, pH-responsive hydrogels can be used to develop intelligent drug delivery systems that release their payload only in specific environments, such as the acidic environment of a tumor. Section 6. Composite Membranes – Combining Strengths for Enhanced Performance Composite membranes, as the name suggests, are formed by combining two or more different materials to create a membrane with enhanced or novel properties. This innovative approach allows scientists to engineer membranes that can perform tasks that single material membranes cannot achieve. These membranes leverage the strengths of their individual components to overcome the limitations of single component membranes. By integrating diverse materials, researchers can create membranes that exhibit superior performance in various aspects. For instance, a composite membrane might combine the high selectivity of one material with the mechanical strength of another, resulting in a membrane that is both efficient and durable. This combination ensures that the membrane can perform well under different conditions and stresses. The design and fabrication of composite membranes offer a high degree of flexibility, allowing researchers to tailor membrane properties for specific applications. This customization is crucial for addressing the unique challenges of different industries. Common types of composite membranes include thin film composite membranes, mixed matrix membranes, and multilayer membranes. 
Each type has its own set of advantages and is suited for specific applications. Thin film composite membranes typically consist of a thin selective layer deposited on a porous support membrane, providing a balance between selectivity and permeability. While mixed matrix membranes incorporate inorganic fillers within a polymer matrix to enhance their performance. These fillers can improve the membrane stability and functionality. Composite membranes have found widespread use in various applications including water purification, gas separation, and fuel cells. Their versatility makes them invaluable in both industrial and environmental contexts. In water treatment, for example, thin film composite membranes are widely used for desalination and the removal of contaminants, ensuring clean and safe water for various uses. While mixed matrix membranes show promise for enhancing gas separation efficiency, these membranes can significantly improve the separation process, making it more effective and economic. Membranes are essential. They act as selective barriers, allowing some substances to pass through while blocking others. This simple yet powerful function has revolutionized industries. From water purification to drug delivery, membranes play a crucial role. Traditionally, membrane fabrication involved complex chemical processes. These methods often had limitations. Now, a new era is dawning, powered by electron beam accelerators. Electron beam accelerators are changing the game. These machines generate high-energy electrons. When these electrons interact with materials, they initiate remarkable transformations. In membrane preparation, electron beams offer unparalleled control and efficiency. This technology is driving the development of next-generation membranes with enhanced properties. Electron beam accelerators are rapidly becoming indispensable in commercial membrane production. Their ability to modify membrane properties with precision is invaluable. Get ready to explore the cutting edge of membrane science and its profound implications for various industries. Electron beams are beams of high-energy electrons. Scientists use them to modify the properties of materials. In membrane preparation, electron beams initiate a process called grafting. Grafting involves attaching new molecules onto the surface of a base membrane. This enhances its properties. The efficiency of electron beams in grafting is remarkable. The high-energy electrons penetrate the membrane material. This creates active sites on the surface. These active sites are where new molecules can attach. Electron beams provide faster reaction times and better control over the grafting process. This results in membranes with improved selectivity, permeability, and durability. The potential of this technology is vast. While electron beams excel in grafting, ion accelerators offer a complementary approach to membrane modification. These machines accelerate ions, which are atoms or molecules with a net electrical charge. When these ions interact with a membrane, they can alter its physical and chemical properties. One type of ion accelerator particularly relevant to membrane processing is the swift, heavy ion accelerator. These accelerators propel ions at incredibly high speeds. When these ions collide with a the membrane, they deposit a large amount of energy in a small volume. This energy deposition can create nano-sized pores and tracks within the membrane, modifying its structure. These pores can be tailored in size and distribution, allowing for precise control over the membrane's permeability. Ion accelerators provide a unique tool set for membrane modification. The combined power of these technologies drives innovation in membrane science. Section 4. The Delicate Balance of Irradiation Both electron beam and ion beam technologies rely on irradiation to modify membrane properties. Irradiation exposes a material to radiation, like electron or ion beams. Modification depends on irradiation dose and dose rate. Dose is the total radiation energy absorbed. Higher doses lead to significant changes. Dose rate is the speed of energy delivery. High dose rates mean quick energy absorption. Dose rate affects chemical reactions during irradiation. Understanding dose and dose rate is crucial for optimizing membrane modification. This control is essential for developing high-performance membranes. Section 5. Optimizing for success. Optimizing the grafting process is paramount for achieving high yield and desired membrane properties. Several factors can influence the grafting yield, including irradiation dose, dose rate, monomer concentration, and reaction temperature. 
One crucial aspect of optimization is finding the optimal irradiation dose. While a higher dose generally leads to more grafting, excessively high doses can damage the base membrane. This can result in reduced mechanical strength and altered permeability. Another critical parameter is the dose rate. A high dose rate can lead to a rapid buildup of radicals, which are highly reactive species. While radicals are essential for grafting, their rapid formation can also lead to unwanted side reactions, reducing grafting efficiency. By carefully controlling and adjusting these variables, scientists can maximize grafting yield and obtain membranes with the desired characteristics. Optimizing these parameters requires a systematic approach, often involving a series of experiments. Section 6. The Future of Membrane Technology the field of membrane science is constantly evolving. Electron beam and ion beam technologies are at the forefront of this revolution. New possibilities for membrane preparation and modification will emerge. Future discussions will delve into the influence of the base polymer and the nature of the monomer used in grafting. Expect more innovative membrane designs with applications in diverse fields, addressing some of the world's most pressing challenges. A new era of membrane modification is upon us. Membranes, those thin barriers that selectively allow certain substances to pass through, are essential in various fields. These fields include water purification, gas separation, and drug delivery. As technology advances, improving membrane performance becomes crucial to meet growing demands. This is where radiation-induced graft copolymerization emerges as a powerful tool. This technique modifies the surface properties of membranes by attaching polymer chains to the membrane surface. This process enhances selectivity, permeability, and fouling resistance. Radiation-induced graft copolymerization offers several benefits over other modification methods, including its ability to create strong covalent bonds between the membrane and the grafted polymer. Let's begin by exploring the impact of film thickness on grafting rates. Film thickness plays a crucial role in radiation-induced graft copolymerization. Thinner films generally exhibit higher grafting rates compared to thicker films. This difference arises from the diffusion of monomers and radicals during the grafting process. In thinner films, monomers and radicals can easily penetrate the entire membrane thickness, allowing for a more uniform and efficient grafting reaction. Thicker films present a greater barrier to diffusion, resulting in a concentration gradient of monomers and radicals across the membrane. This gradient leads to uneven grafting, with higher grafting densities near the surface and lower densities in the interior. For applications requiring high permeability, such as water filtration, thinner films with higher grafting rates are desirable. Optimizing film thickness is crucial for achieving the desired balance between grafting efficiency and mechanical properties. Variability in grafting results across different polymer films is a challenge. Variations in polymer structure, crystallinity, and surface properties can lead to differences in grafting efficiency and the properties of the modified membranes. Hydrophobic polymers tend to exhibit lower grafting rates compared to hydrophilic polymers. The presence of functional groups on the polymer backbone can influence grafting. Understanding these factors is crucial for optimizing the grafting process. Tailoring the grafting conditions can help mitigate variability and achieve the desired membrane properties. Characterizing membranes is essential for understanding their properties and optimizing their performance. Various techniques are employed to investigate the physical and chemical characteristics of membranes. Scanning electron microscopy SEM, allows researchers to visualize the membrane surface morphology. Atomic force microscopy AFM, provides nanoscale resolution images of the membrane surface. Spectroscopic methods like Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy FTIR, help identify the chemical bonds present in the membrane and the grafted polymer. X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy XPS, provides information on the elemental composition and chemical states of the membrane surface. These tools offer valuable insights into the effectiveness of radiation-induced graft copolymerization. The structure of the polymer used in radiation-induced graft copolymerization significantly influences the properties and performance of the modified membrane. Factors such as polymer chain length, branching, and functional groups can impact the membrane's permeability, selectivity, and fouling resistance. 
longer polymer chains tend to form more entangled networks on the membrane surface. Branching in the polymer structure can further enhance selectivity by introducing steric hindrance. The presence of specific functional groups on the polymer backbone can also tailor membrane properties. Hydrophilic groups can enhance water permeability and reduce fouling. By carefully selecting the polymer based on its structure and functional groups, it is possible to fine-tune membrane properties to meet specific requirements. The field of radiation-induced graft copolymerization of membranes is constantly evolving. One promising area of research is the development of stimuli-responsive membranes. These membranes can change their properties in response to external stimuli, such as pH, temperature, or light. This has significant potential in applications such as drug delivery, where controlled release of therapeutic agents is crucial. Another exciting area is the development of membranes with enhanced anti-fooling properties. By grafting polymers with anti-fooling properties, it is possible to create membranes that resist fouling and maintain their performance over extended periods. Radiation-induced graft copolymerization offers a powerful and versatile approach to modifying membrane properties for a wide range of applications. As research continues, we can look forward to a future where tailored membranes play an even more critical role in shaping a sustainable and healthy world. Hey there, science fans! Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of ion exchange membranes. These incredible materials have a superpower selectively transporting ions while blocking others. Think of them like tiny gatekeepers, controlling the flow of charged particles. Ion exchange membranes are essential in various fields, including water purification, energy storage, and even in our own bodies. They play a crucial role in processes like desalination, where salt is removed from water, and fuel cell technology, where chemical energy is converted into electricity. These membranes are made from special polymers with unique properties. They contain charged groups, either positive or negative, that attract and bind to ions of the opposite charge. This selective binding allows the membrane to control which ions can pass through and which ones are left behind. Understanding how the structure of these membranes dictates their properties is crucial for designing and optimizing them for specific applications. So, buckle up as we explore the fascinating relationship between structure and function in ion exchange membranes. Let's go! Picture this. An ion exchange membrane is like a microscopic sieve with carefully designed pores. The size and charge of these pores determine which ions can pass through. The backbone of the membrane is made up of long polymer chains with functional groups. These functional groups control ion transport. The type and number of functional groups influence the membrane's selectivity. For example, desalination membranes attract sodium and chloride ions. The spacing and cross-linking density also affect membrane properties. The key is finding the perfect balance for the desired application. Let's talk about how ions travel across these membranes. The primary mechanism is diffusion, where ions move from high to low concentration. Imagine a crowded room where people spread out over time. Same idea with ions. Ion exchange membranes add complexity with dawn and exclusion. Charged membranes repel ions of the same charge, preventing passage. This selectivity is crucial in applications like desalination. Section 4. Environmental Impacts on Membrane Performance Here's a thought. Ion exchange membranes don't operate in a vacuum. The surrounding environment can significantly impact their performance. Factors like temperature, pH, and the presence of other ions can influence the membrane structure and consequently, its properties. For instance, high temperatures can sometimes cause the membrane to swell or even degrade, affecting its selectivity and permeability. Similarly, extreme pH levels can alter the charge of functional groups, hindering their ability to bind to target ions. Moreover, the presence of competing ions in the solution can also impact membrane performance. Imagine a membrane designed to remove calcium ions from water. If the water also contains a high concentration of sodium ions, they might compete with calcium for binding sites on the membrane, reducing its efficiency. Understanding these environmental sensitivities is crucial for designing robust and efficient ion exchange membranes. Researchers are constantly developing new materials and modification techniques 
to enhance membrane stability and performance under various operating conditions. Section 5. Optimizing Structure for Enhanced Performance So, we've explored the ins and outs of ion exchange membranes, from their structure-property relationships to the intricacies of ion transport and environmental sensitivities. Now what can we do with all this knowledge? Optimize, optimize, optimize. By carefully tailoring the membrane structure, we can enhance its performance for specific applications. For example, increasing the density of functional groups can enhance ion selectivity, while modifying the polymer backbone can improve mechanical strength and chemical stability. Researchers are constantly exploring new materials and fabrication techniques to push the boundaries of membrane performance. Nanomaterials, for instance, offer exciting possibilities for creating membranes with enhanced selectivity, permeability, and stability. The future of ion exchange membranes is bright, with ongoing research and development paving the way for even more innovative applications in fields ranging from water purification and energy storage to biomedical devices and beyond. Exploring Radiation-Induced Grafting Effects There's a particularly cool area of research radiation-induced grafting. This technique uses radiation to modify membrane surfaces, introducing new functional groups. Imagine giving a membrane a superpower upgrade. It offers potential for fine-tuning selectivity, permeability, and stability. Researchers are creating membranes with enhanced resistance to fouling. The possibilities for innovation are limitless. Stay tuned! Hey there, science fans. Today, let's dive into the incredible world of membranes. You might be thinking of the thin skin covering a cell or a drumhead, and you're not far off. In science, membranes are like super thin barriers that can separate different stuff, like liquids or gases. Think of it like a filter in your kitchen, only way smaller and more precise. These membranes are made from special materials that act like gatekeepers, allowing some things to pass through while blocking others. What makes them so cool? Well, membranes can be used in tons of applications, from cleaning water to making life-saving medicines. And the best part is, scientists are constantly finding new ways to use them. So buckle up as we explore two exciting areas where membranes are making a big splash energy conversion and pervaporation. Let's talk energy! In a world hungry for cleaner and more efficient power sources, membranes are stepping up to the plate. One type, called ion exchange membranes, are like tiny powerhouses. Imagine a battery or a fuel cell. Ion exchange membranes act like a bridge inside these devices, allowing charged particles, called ions, to flow across while keeping other stuff separate. This flow of ions is what creates electricity. These membranes are made from special materials that have a positive or negative charge, attracting oppositely charged ions. It's like a magnet attracting metal, but instead of metal, we're moving tiny charged particles to generate power. Ion exchange membranes are a key ingredient in making clean energy a reality, and research is booming to make them even better and cheaper. Now how do scientists make these amazing membranes even better? One way is through a cool process called radiation-induced graft copolymerization. Sounds complicated, right? Let's break it down. Think of your favorite recipe. You start with basic ingredients and combine them to create something delicious. Radiation grafting is similar. Scientists start with a base membrane material, kind of like the flour in your recipe. Then they use radiation, like a tiny burst of energy, to attach new molecules onto the membrane surface. These new molecules are like adding chocolate chips or nuts. They give the membrane special properties. This process allows scientists to fine-tune membranes for specific jobs. Need a membrane that can withstand harsh chemicals? Radiation grafting can do that. How about one that can filter out specific viruses? Grafting to the rescue. Section 4. Pervaporation, separation with a difference. Now let's switch gears to another incredible membrane application, pervaporation. This fancy word describes a process where membranes help separate mixtures of liquids. Imagine you have a mixture of two liquids that are really hard to separate, like trying to separate salt from water just by pouring. Pervaporation membranes can help. These membranes act like tiny sieves, allowing one liquid to pass through as vapor while leaving the other behind. The secret sauce? Pervaporation membranes have a special affinity for one of the liquids in the mixture. It's like having a magnet that only attracts certain types of metal. This selective attraction makes it possible to separate liquids that would otherwise be very difficult or expensive to separate. 
Section 5. Commercial Wonders, Ramion Trademark and Permian Trademark You might be wondering where can we see these membrane technologies in action? Well, they're already being used in many industries. Take Ramion Trademark membranes for example. These high-performance membranes are used in various applications, from cleaning wastewater to producing clean drinking water. They can even remove harmful pollutants and salts, making water safe and drinkable. Then there's Permian Trademark, another star player in the membrane world. These membranes are specifically designed for electrochemical applications, like fuel cells and batteries, playing a crucial role in powering a cleaner future. These are just two examples of the many commercial membrane products making a real difference in the world today. As research continues, we can expect to see even more innovative applications in the future. Section 6. Conclusion. A membrane-powered future. From generating clean energy to purifying water and even creating life-saving medicines, membrane technology is transforming the way we live and solve global challenges. With each new discovery and innovation, the future of membranes is looking brighter than ever. As we continue to unlock the full potential of these incredible materials, one thing is certain, membranes will play a pivotal role in shaping a more sustainable and technologically advanced future for generations to come. So keep your eyes peeled and your minds open, because the world of membranes is full of endless possibilities. In an era defined by relentless technological advancement, the demand for sophisticated materials with tailored properties has reached unprecedented heights. From energy storage to environmental remediation and healthcare, the quest for innovative solutions hinges on our ability to manipulate matter at its fundamental level. Among the diverse array of advanced materials, radiation-grafted membranes have emerged as a compelling area of research, promising to revolutionize various fields, including sensor technology. These exceptional materials, crafted through the ingenious fusion of polymer science and radiation chemistry, exhibit remarkable versatility and tunability, making them ideal candidates for a wide range of applications. This essay delves into the fascinating world of radiation-grafted membranes, exploring their development, properties, and their pivotal role in advancing sensor technology. Join us as we uncover the transformative potential of these remarkable materials and their profound impact on our ever-evolving world. Before we delve into the intricacies of radiation-grafted membranes, let's take a step back and revisit the fundamentals of membrane technology. Membranes, in their simplest form, act as selective barriers, allowing certain substances to pass through while restricting others. This selective permeability forms the cornerstone of countless natural and industrial processes, ranging from the transport of nutrients across cell membranes to the purification of water and gases. Traditional membrane fabrication techniques often involve phase inversion, stretching, or track etching, resulting in membranes with inherent limitations in terms of their chemical and physical properties. These limitations can hinder their performance and longevity, particularly in demanding applications such as harsh chemical environments, high temperatures, or exposure to ionizing radiation. The need for robust and adaptable membrane materials has fueled research into novel fabrication and modification techniques. Radiation grafting, as we shall see, offers a compelling solution to overcome the limitations of conventional membranes, ushering in a new era of high-performance membrane materials with tailored properties. At the heart of radiation-grafted membranes lies the ingenious process of radiation grafting, a technique that exploits the power of ionizing radiation to chemically modify the surface of polymer films. This process involves exposing a base polymer film to a controlled dose of radiation, typically gamma rays or electron beams, generating highly reactive free radicals within the polymer structure. These free radicals act as initiation sites for the subsequent grafting process. Upon introduction of specific monomers, small molecules capable of forming long chains, the free radicals readily react with the monomers, initiating a chain reaction that leads to the covalent attachment of polymer chains onto the surface of the base polymer. This grafting process results in the formation of a thin, functionalized layer on the membrane surface, effectively altering its chemical and physical properties. The choice of monomers plays a crucial role in dictating the final properties of the radiation-grafted membrane. For instance, hydrophilic monomers can be used to impart hydrophilicity, rendering the membrane water-loving, while hydrophobic monomers can be employed to create water-repellent surfaces. 
This ability to tailor the membrane's properties by carefully selecting the grafting monomers underscores the versatility and power of radiation grafting as a modification technique. The unique properties of radiation grafted membranes, including their tunable surface chemistry, high surface area, and excellent chemical and thermal stability, make them ideal candidates for a wide range of sensing applications. In the realm of sensor technology, these membranes have demonstrated exceptional promise, particularly in the development of highly sensitive and selective sensors for humidity, temperature, and pH. Humidity sensors, crucial components in various industries ranging from HVAC systems to food storage and healthcare, rely on detecting changes in relative humidity. Radiation grafted membranes, functionalized with hygroscopic polymers that readily absorb moisture, exhibit a measurable change in their electrical resistance or capacitance upon interaction with water vapor. This change in electrical properties serves as a direct indicator of humidity levels, enabling accurate and reliable humidity sensing. Similarly, radiation grafted membranes have shown great potential in temperature sensing applications. By incorporating temperature responsive polymers into the grafting process, researchers can create membranes that exhibit a predictable change in their physical or chemical properties with temperature variations. This change can be monitored and translated into temperature readings, enabling precise and contactless temperature measurement. As we bring this video to a close, we would like to extend our deepest gratitude to the researchers whose groundbreaking work has greatly contributed to the field. Special thanks go to Professor Dr. El Sayed Ahmed Hegazi, former president of the National Center for Radiation Research and Technology, and Professor Dr. Mohamed Nassif from the Malaysian Nuclear Agency. Their research, published in, has been instrumental in advancing the study and application of ion exchange membranes through radiation-induced graft copolymerization. Their dedication and contributions have not only enhanced the understanding within the scientific community, but have also paved the way for future researchers to build upon their findings. This paper continues to serve as a critical reference point for many scholars in the field. We also want to thank you, our valued viewers, for joining us in exploring this fascinating subject. Your support and interest are what drive us to bring such detailed and informative content to life. If you found this video insightful, please consider subscribing to our channel for Science Sala Lot Feature. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest updates. Share this video with others who might benefit from this knowledge and let's continue to explore the wonders of science together. Once again, thank you for watching. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the world of science.